and the beginning of the light coming in. The color is absolutely incredible. <sighs> this has definitely been worth the trip. I've never seen colors like this. Uh, it was so slow and so gentle, and it revealed this world that kind of doesn't really feel like any place I've ever been. I mean, literally feel like I'm sitting on top of the world. Mm. I'm headed down into Haleakala Crater, which is the largest inactive volcano on Earth. I'm going to meet my guide, see how we're going to get down there. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Are you Craig the Wheel? Yeah, I am. Aloha. Hi, I'm Megan. Nice to meet you. Oh, how am I? This is Tiny. This is Tiny? You're going to ride Tiny today. I'm riding Tiny. Yeah, you're going to ride Tiny today. Oh, Tiny. He's real mellow. He's tiny really looks big. Great. You're going to enjoy riding Tiny. I want to give you some quick instructions. All right. Okay. Now, when we want more energy from the mule, it's going to take more energy from us. Okay. So, first thing I do is I raise up the reins and they know something's coming up. And I give them a little squeeze and a kiss. Mm -hmm. Now, if that doesn't work, up your ante a little bit, give them a cluck and a kick. And you kick them with the back of your heel right here. And you hear that sound? That's a kick. Yeah. And if you kick them with a five-pound thump and they don't go, increase your ante, kick them with a 10. If they don't go, kick them with a 15, kick them with a 20. Just nag them like a bad husband or a bad wife. <laughs> Just stay on them. Okay. And they'll go. So when we ride, you know how Elvis Presley sang? Yeah. He swiveled at his hips, they cut him off from Ed Sullivan. And you know how the hula girls dance? They swivel at the hips. You have to ride and swivel at your hips. All right. Your shoulders don't move, okay? In fact, it's swivel just like hula. Okay. You have to be relaxed and swivel at the hips or you'll ride mm -hmm. like this all day long and your back will get sore. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes, all right, definitely. All right, mountaintop eroded over 750,000 years. You may hear that the astronauts trained here. They did walk through here just to experience the terrain because it looks so similar to the moon. How long is the trip from here down to the central crater? Oh, uh, we got about three miles down. Three miles down. Yeah. Silver sword. They live from 7 to 50 years and they bloom once in their life and then the entire plant dies. They only grow here on Maui and on the big island of Hawaii. So how's your bum doing? It's alright. When we finish, you're going to be walking like a newlywed. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so quiet, peaceful down here. Just the silence is so nice. Yeah, it is. You know, there's no TV to look at or it's very relaxing. Um, you you can't help but go inside and listen to the chatter of your mind, and you'll realize how much chatter is in your mind. Um, there's no other distractions except yourself in here. When we stay at Paliku, I have a lot of dreams. I'll have maybe a half a dozen different dreams that were very lengthy and very intense. Uh, and remember a lot of detail in the dreams. And you wake up in the morning and remember all six dreams. Mm. Yeah, but it's very, very beautiful. There's nothing but spirituality and yourself. We better hurry up if we're going to make it to the cabin tonight by the time it gets dark. to the island of Hawaii, 